If you or somebody you know wants to be a guest in the Somebody Show, email at us. Email us at the email the Somebody Show at the. the anyway, it's on the screen, and and just remember, we're all somebody. This is the Somebody Show. Still? It still is. Still is. Yeah. And this is the last episode of the season. Maybe it's the, the last episode end ever. ever. No, this I is the know. end of season one. We were joking, like, uh, we don't want to shoot in the summer when it's hot, because last year we did that and it was really hot in here, and, and uh, the guest, we want to put the guests through that. Well, Sean right. says he likes it for some reason. I do. I like torturing yeah. the guests. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the end of season one. Yeah. So excited. We made it. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't tell you this. I thought I'd mention 19 it. 19 or 20 episodes? Uh, about yeah, 19 or 20, I think, depending. depending you know, we're okay. still kind of in that process, but around 20 episodes. Depends on if we hit the record button for sound, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and as of taping, uh -huh. we're at 91 subscribers, I think. Correct. Maybe more, but 100 was our season one goal. It was. And we are close to achieving our goal. I, yeah. Well, yes. yes. Please subscribe. Please. We need all Please the help subscribe. we can get. And if you know an AV person, audio video. Yeah. Yes. Not an AVN person, an AV person. Well, you know sure. one of those, too. No, no, we don't need that. Um, so I, I thought I told you this. I thought I'd mention it, but I don't think I did because we talked about this off camera. Huh? Um, I did 23andMe genetic testing years and years ago, and I was just, kind of a thing. Why? Just I don't know. Curiosity. Was, yeah, just dumb. Like it was, it, it was 100 bucks. Okay. And I was like, oh, I'll spend $100 to find out you know, how, what I'm going to die of eventually. Okay. Um, which is when they got in trouble for that. Like people, they had to take okay. that off. The FDA was like, you can't tell people that. And then there was a whole thing. Um, but no. I bring this up because yeah. apparently 23andMe told me I was related to Stephen Colbert. So, <laughs> okay. yeah, I don't know if you like Stephen Colbert. I don't care, but he's a talk show host. Really? I love Stephen What's wrong with my ear? Well, nothing. And that's insane. Stephen Colbert's got like a funky ear. So oh, does he? What? I, I had weird ears. I actually saw him. That was like the only live show I've ever been to. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. No, no, no. Like when he did the Colbert show. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It was awesome. Wait, the, like the Colbert Report, like his old thing or now? No, the old thing. Okay, the old yeah. thing. Yeah. I have weird ears. People see like the connect, mm -hmm. right? That's like, <laughs> That's like a genetic, genetic yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Does Stephen Colbert have ears like this? I think, I think he was in like an accent. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? All right. Can you zoom in <laughs> My earwax. I didn't think I cleaned my ears. Oh my God. All right. Well, I can't yeah. go any. All right. We see it. All right. We see it. He's like, I did that. I did what Chris wanted me to do. Um, all right. So related to Stephen Colbert. Okay. James Corden left the late late the late late show. Mm -hmm. Or is or it leaving? Late, leaving? Next year, right, yeah. right. And you you were worried that I was going to jump ship. Yeah, very worried. Very worried. That, that, that sounds sarcastic. Extremely sarcastic. Extremely. <laughs> sarcastic. Um, and this is all like you know late show stuff. But uh, Conan O'Brien has a podcast. He does. Conan, Conan needs a friend. Yep. That I listen to a lot. Okay. I hype up music for this show anytime. Okay. Right near the day of the taping, I listen to Conan. I'm like. <laughs> want to be like Conan and I'm not at all like Conan obviously no. which we're going to get to um, but he is kind of ripping our idea off he a stole bit. our idea yeah he's interviewing like regular people not I, celebrities I, I, no. -uh. Yeah, are you serious on, on his podcast it's different like we're putting him in a chair we can mm. give them the experience of the tonight show right, of a real late night show but do we no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we really want to talk about that. that was our goal the goal of the somebody show was to like have a talk show where anybody could be on a talk show you me, well, I'm on one. Um, Your but mom, my mom, Sean's mom, whoever could be yeah. on the show yeah. and feel like they were on a real life talk show. But there's we a, have come to realize <laughs> after it's not like at all. After doing a season of this, which that flies indicative of, this is nothing like the. <laughs> <laughs> We can't remember to push the record button on audio. Sorry, we have cameras that are like taking pictures of other cables. Not the camera person's fault, the editor's fault, because I don't have a computer strong enough to handle all the different camera angles we have. Um, we're in a garage. This is not studio. like being on a, this is a studio, but not like being on a talk show. Not at all. But we try. Yes. And the goal is for season two, and then season three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, and around fifteen or sixteen, we'll probably start talking about maybe retiring, but we'll keep going until probably like season twenty-five. Wow. So by season twenty-five, hopefully, this will, will hopefully will be in a real studio. I love your garage, Faith, Sean. Thank you for That's letting us use the garage. You're your welcome. garage, or it's face garage. Okay, thank you for letting us borrow your garage. You're very um, welcome. But it would be awesome to do this in a real studio. I agree. Like with like. Again, real. I still don't. If we get celebrities on the show eventually, great. Like we had a celebrity on the show that may or may not air. We don't yeah. know yet. We're gonna find out. Working on a but celebrity for next season. We're working on. Ooh, Maybe tease. Ooh. I was just um, saying. But 
I would like to do this in a real studio someday. Maybe. You know, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, I'd like to dream big, Sean. I just want to quit your job. Let me tell you, this is uh, E. We didn't plan this. We didn't plan this. This is a Chris E. True Hollywood story. We're going to let this thing run. We're going to let it run a little long. And he's in the alley. Whatever we want. This is going to be a four-hour episode. So, I was the kind of actor that I would go on shows. So, you were an actor? I was an actor. Yeah. I would get guest stars, be little small parts, uh -huh. you know, on TV shows. And I was a big fan of Wings. Remember the, the TV show? show? Yeah, Wings. I love Wings. You love Wings. Um, what's you his like name? We live on uh, Sandpiper. Yeah, Drive. that's right, yeah. Don't give away our address. No. Yeah, way to go. Tony <laughs> Shalhoub, the actor, uh -huh. was a guest star Monk? on Wings. Yeah, became Monk. Was a guest star on Wings as the um, the Italian the driver. concierge. No, the concierge at the Italian restaurant. Okay. And that character was so good, they were like, let's make this a regular character. They okay. made it, he became a regular on, on Wings. So, I loved Wings. I loved Tony Shalhoub's character. Okay. I guess I thought of myself as a you know up and coming Tony Shalhoub because every time I got a small part on a TV show, I would always cool. think of how they could make this part a regular character. It's like, well, they could do this and this, but I'd be a regular character on the show every <laughs> single time I had in my head. So I dream big. That's my point. One time it worked, right? You had a recurring. Recurring is not the same. Okay. Recurring is that's a but that's better deal. than it's a bigger, bigger you know, deal. What you did on Married with Children, you were like yeah, knocking yeah, on the yeah, door. Yeah. And that one, I don't know that I. Oh, no, no, I did. I thought I would, like, date Christian okay. Applegate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought, I thought for sure, like, it was like, oh, she likes the microwave guy, and I could be, like, the, the guy that she dates that her parents don't want her to date, that okay. I'm even too low for the married with children. I, I came up with this whole story. Okay. I didn't tell the writers, <laughs> but I thought my performance would be good enough yeah. that they would be like, oh, 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 this young actor, he should be a regular on the show. <laughs> I'm anyway. sorry, Jim. Yeah, 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 Next time. Uh, yeah. One, one leaves someday. Yeah. Yeah. Next lifetime when I'm reincarnated. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is that a uh, thing? That I just, I just offended people. Mm, oh. Sorry, I'll edit that out. Um, all right. Speaking so, of offended people. Oh yeah. Our guest. We have a guest. Oh, yeah, this is a summer show. <laughs> we have a guest today. Should we get to it? No. We I'm just saying. Speaking of. Offended. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah wait, 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 wait you see this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. We have guests today mm -hmm. that is going to do some stand up. That's yeah. another thing. Next season, we're hoping to get a few more stand ups. So we decided this, we try to finish off this season with a stand up comic who's going to blow your mind. She is the best stand up comic that you've seen since Roseanne Barr was originally on The Tonight Show. Okay. That is that how good she is. Inspiration, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're lucky to have her. Very excited. Um, we're going to go to commercial. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Here, other than so we have a lot of season, season one goal, so maybe we'll talk at the, at the closing some of yeah. our goals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, thank you again for sticking with us this season for seven minutes per episode, or whatever <laughs> it was. We're going to do the commercial and break back. Then. Yeah. Kay Jewelers presents Cindy Crawford. Are you wondering what to give this Mother's Day? Why not think about jewelry and just say K? You say it all, just say K. Our mother and child diamond pendant is just $99.95. And on purchases of $500 or more, we offer free financing for one year. Show her how much she means to you this Mother's Day in a way she'll remember forever. Just say K. We are back from that commercial. We have a stand-up comic. We do. I'm so excited. All right. So please welcome our next guest, who is Sean's mom. Woo! Please welcome Jennifer Padgett. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me tonight. I've never done anything like this before, ever. But never, I've never done stand up. But I thought as long as Chris is doing a host of this, this show, maybe a few minutes of my time for stand up would be okay. <laughs> Rumor has it that Chris is looking for to be hired as a new, the new late, late night show host. Do we have any talent agents out there? <laughs> hey, get this guy hooked up. It may be, he may be the face of the next adult diapers. <laughs> you know, he's a real piece of shit. <laughs> Speaking of guys named James, <laughs> hmm, how much better would this show be if James Vanderbeer? Uh, <laughs> I can't even say his name. James Vanderbeek came on here and was the host. Taken over. Like every director said from 1995 <laughs> to 2015. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Chris. Chris who? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get 
when you cross the road? What do you get when you cross the road for a YouTube host and a pile of shit? <laughs> I don't know. Chris Elwood. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm new to this guy. <laughs> this is amazing. I, like I went to Wendy's drive through the other night and I ordered a number two. <laughs> and to my surprise, I didn't get a bag of Chris. <laughs> I got a number two. It's poop. You get it? It's poop. It's poop. Chris, your mama is so stupid. How stupid is she? Your mama is so stupid. She doesn't even watch you on your show. Yeah, I agree with that. But hey, wait a minute. Maybe she's smarter than all of us. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Chris was on this side. <laughs> He's a real piece of shit. <laughs> a priest, an atheist, and Chris walked into a bar. Chris had a major heart attack, massive, and he died slowly and painfully. <laughs> the priest turns to the athe the atheist turns to the priest and says, "Thank God." <laughs> If Chris was a dog, what breed of dog would he be? I don't know. Can I answer that? <laughs> a Shih Tzu? <laughs> a Shih Tzu! There you go. What did the moist, s smelly, gross pile of shit say to Chris? <laughs> Daddy, is that you? <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, yeah. oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, Deborah Padgett, everyone, we'll be right back from this commercial. We're going to find out more about how uh, crappy a person I am. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Mum's the word. New mum cream deodorant now with M3. Got the message? I was laughing so hard I got a cramp in my side. That was good. It was fun. Um, okay, we're back from commercial. Faith's figuring out the three shot. How's it look, Faith? I think okay. You got a good one? I don't know. How yeah. do I look? How's my hair? Uh, you look great. Look at this shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, you're Sean's mom. I am. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for and having thank me. Thank you for really just making me feel hey. good about myself. I'm warm and moist. moist. Yeah, <laughs> warm and daddy. Yes. Is that you? Yes. That was great. Um, no, we do want to have more stand-ups on the show. And I, I told Sean, I remember as a kid seeing Roseanne Barr on The Tonight Show. And my mom and I were watching. And this is going to maybe sound wrong, but I was like, Mom, it reminds me of you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where her popularity came yeah. from, right? Yeah. It was like she was like, like a absolutely. real mom. She was like, an everyday yeah. mom, housewife. Yeah. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. right. And yep. not only that, but then she really was. Yep. Right? I mean, she yeah. was like, yes. she was doing stand-up at night and raising kids during the day. Yep, and yep. Her husband was a construction worker, so yeah. he never had a real yeah. good job. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And yep. so, uh, well, construction's a good job. But I mean, now you're shitting on Sean. No, no, no. Back in the day, yes. I mean, it really wasn't. Yeah. Nowadays, it's better. But yeah, he absolutely. He wasn't a, a doctor or a lawyer. No, no, no. Those are, those no. Are the, the premium no, he, jobs. He stayed home to watch the kids after she got her big yeah. gig, though. Yeah, so, yeah, he did. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so speaking of which, we were talking about uh, you're looking for a job, right? Yeah, I'm looking for something full time. Okay, Currently, stand up. I, I, yeah. you stand, I was gonna say, you yeah. stand up. Comedy yeah. store. Con yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently working part time. Okay. Um, I really need something full time. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I worked at a company for She's 33 doing years. Or 
twenty dollars an hour. Yeah, right, right, right. I am. We'll stand up for twenty dollars an hour. For a T-shirt. Yep, yep. <laughs> but uh, I was with the company for thirty-three years okay. uh, prior to the pandemic. Okay. And uh, they cut. They closed down. They moved their location out to North Jersey. I wasn't offered a position. So um, you were rusting term, cattle out there. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, 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 right. What yeah. were you doing? I was the assistant to the president of the company. Oh. So they didn't know what to do with me. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. So okay. administrative assistant is what my line of work is. Okay. Um, what area are you in, or how far are you willing to drive? Let's do a job interview. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how far are you willing to drive? Um, the older I get, the less I want to drive, yeah, you know, course, so yeah. maybe 25 miles from my home. That's a long way. You yeah. want to 25 miles? That's like 45 minute drive with traffic. Yeah, but Chris, I live up in Perkesy and what would you call Perkesy? Shit town? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no Perkesy is just, just really that. far up it? there, yeah. so okay. it's not close to anything. Okay. All right. So yeah, um, so yeah, I think 25 miles, that would take me down into Montgomeryville. Okay. Um, so that would be where I'd want to go, no further than that, just because of how the weather is in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of so looking for. I see for. here on your resume that you're, um, <laughs> you're good at uh, typing. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. you answer phones. Yes, well, answer phones. Well, and, yes. Uh, and you, um, and, and so tell me, what you, what's your biggest weakness? That's the, I'm doing that because that isn't like the job interview thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah, I yeah. changed it into a like, string. Oh, you know what you're supposed to say? Uh, I, I care, care too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> I care too much. Where do you see yourself in ten years? <laughs> retired. <laughs> Absolutely retired. So, so Sean was the best kid you've ever had. He's your favorite child. <laughs> Right. Uh, I'm not there. I have four. Four, because he's definitely the best. Um, uh, is he the youngest, oldest, middle, third, second? He's the third. Third. Okay. He's the third boy. Who's the baby? Jackie. Jackie. His sister. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. How yes. much younger? Just two years. Two years younger. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. Yep. And uh, maybe she's not a nice person. So like, like Sean's the nice one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is just saying something. Right. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, listen. There's a little payback. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah absolutely, no. absolutely. Uh, so tell us, is there, you have to have funny stories about Sean. Can we embarrass Sean a little bit? Is that, is it oh baby? my! You know, this the saddest part because his brothers and he are so close together. Um, it was always the three of them. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, as far as sharing any one story, the other two were right with uh, him. Okay. Most like, times, like a Huey, Dewey, and yeah, Louis. Well, yeah, absolutely. The uh, the yeah, Irish tri triplets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Sean was always the the go getter though of the group. He always, um, if he didn't instigate something, he followed real close to the one who did. Uh, okay. So yes, All right. All right. yes. Um, I speaking I of there. the Irish triplets, and only because we mentioned Conan at the top of the show, um, I was before. Today I was listening to Conan, and he's Irish, and was talking about yeah, no, very Irish. Yeah. He says it all the time, and uh, he was talking about the, his siblings are very close, and so they were making a joke about like how uh, when you're in a prison cell, and you know, you, you go into prison, and there's a like, person that's been there for eight months, and they're like, oh, you gotta watch out for this, watch out for that. They were joking about like the babies were in the womb together, like <laughs> one would slide in, like, yeah, yeah, still there. Yeah. And, like four months later, the next one will come in, and they're like, I'll see you later, I'll see you on the outside. <laughs> Conan O'Brien's funny. He's he, good. He is, he is funny. really funny. Yes, he is. Um, sorry, that was funny. Almost as funny as you, Chris. <laughs> well, let me listen. I think we established uh, how funny I am yeah. throughout a season of the Somebody Show in your stand-up comedy. Yeah, there you go. Very clearly uh, telling you where I stand in this world and on this show. Um, so yeah, and, 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 but nothing like that really stands out from Sean when he was a. I was such a good kid. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, you know, oh. it. Sean, you got a good story about your mom growing up? Hmm. I don't know. Right. This is a great I mean, interview. Like Sean, <laughs> Listen, Sean, or thank you. Know, you. Know, a lot of time, better. But I've spent a lot of time driving, so a lot of time on my headphones, and my mother screaming like Melissa Etheridge, and I couldn't. I was trying to listen to something else, and all I heard. All was I wanna do yeah, is that's 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 that song. Not Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. I don't know. All right, sing us some Melissa Etheridge. Go ahead. You can sing that. Let's sing. A musical guest tonight. I'll tell you about that. Okay. Surprise! Elena Miles, uh, oh Black Velvet. Oh my, oh my. there we go, there we go. Yeah, the kids. <laughs> 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 yep. I don't know. It's all about Elvis. It's all about Elvis. You were right. Are you an Elvis fan? No. <laughs> but I got to go to Graceland. Did you really? I did. And what a time warp. 
Yeah. Let me tell you, they have everything roped off. Even his parents' clothing are still in the closet. Yeah. It's um, really odd. Um, their kitchen is uh, time warped. Um, their security system. How come I wasn't invited on this trip? That it was. <laughs> I thought it was your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that it's very strange. It's a very big time warp. But the the weirdest thing that my husband and I found found odd is that they're all buried out back. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, his parents and him, um, you know, with the big gravestone and yeah. markers and yeah. that kind of thing. And um, Should have taken an Elwood on them. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but, I, yeah. I should think they should have taxidermied all of them and had them there. Like, oh. You could get there and, like, shake Elvis' his hand. That's what I want to do for my funeral. There you I go. Die, I hope they taxidermy my body and I'm sitting there at the funeral. like Not frozen? Like a, no, no, you no. no. Well, I, I'd like I, my brain frozen so uh, you can okay. take the brain out, freeze that, <laughs> put it on okay. the but then I want to be at the funeral with like an animatronic like voice box. Yeah. Like, Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And have my arm kind of on motor. I would be like a poop emoji. We just get one of those. Like, oh, there, oh, there you go. There you go. 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 Like every time they shake my hand, pull my finger. Pull my finger. Pull my finger. <laughs> I did tell my wife and kids, I was like, listen, if I die or when I die, like, if I die, yeah. I, don't, I, I think we talked about this. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to die. Like, I, I feel like there might be a way to kind of prolong this thing eventually. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if I do, like, I want the, the funeral to be funny. Like, I don't want it to be sad. I want people to be laughing. I play some funny stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, want to I'm a shitty person. There's no reason to be sad. I'm gone. It's <laughs> like making fun of like, your stand-up routine should be said at my funeral. Yeah, and we'll as, far as, as far as I, I want to party, I don't yeah. want anybody crying. I want everybody to be drinking and yeah. partying and having yeah. a good time yeah. and saying, hey, she did the best she could, and there exactly. you go. No, there I you agree. go. Agree. But it's funny, to go back to Elvis, you were saying, um, Graceland, you know, everything you ever heard about, you thought it was big. Yeah. It's really a small house. Small, yeah. Very yeah. small house. Modest. Very. Yeah. For somebody that was the supposed to be the king of rock and roll. Yeah. 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 It's because he stole it. Oh. Uh, maybe. Evil man. Maybe. Evil man. maybe. And then the other place um, going when we went Google to it. when we went to uh, Graceland was we also went to see where Jay where um, Martin Luther King was killed. Okay. And another mm. time warp. Uh -huh. Where they haven't changed the curtains, the oh, cars, okay. anything. Wow. It's uh, and it's eerie because you walk down the street and it's as quiet. There's no birds singing. Wow. It's uh, it's a very strange mm, thing. But it, it, it I, I'm glad that I went. I'm glad that I got to see that um, that part of of uh, history. Yeah, it yeah. was it it was it, it more than than. I ever gave it any yeah, thought really to. Bringing down. Can we have more shows? Yeah, there you say, go. Say, say, you watch the show quite a bit. Yes, all the mind. time. Um, yeah, every time you have one on. So, uh, so you know that I talk about myself a lot. Yes. And I do the Chrissy True Holly story. So Graceland, um, kind of adjacent. I got invited. This is not a joke. I'm not being silly right now. I got invited to Never Never Land. Did I talk about this already? I no. Know. I got invited to Never Never Land. How old were you? And you had a friend who's friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> That's why we're here. Um, now I was in my 20s. Uh, I had a friend hey, whose friend was Michael Jackson's um, financial advisor for wow. a very short period of time. And he called one weekend and was like, hey, um, Michael's not going to be there, but you guys can come up to Neverland. Neverland. He, he said I can invite anyone I want anytime I could. I had no idea why I said no, but I said no, and I didn't go. Well, yeah, wow. I had an opportunity to go and he didn't go. Wow. Yeah, Listen, here that, I had the issue with the, uh, the two I know, that's that we, true. We earlier, so. um, yeah, it's like crazy. I didn't go. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Guys could have been a good team. Is, it, is Never <laughs> Neverland still there? Like, is it I still? I think they keep it open. Like, I don't I mean, it's yeah. a freaking theme park, right? I mean, yeah, it's got like, roller coasters and Yeah, I thought so. Everyone keeps looking at me like I know anything. <laughs> the, one more story about Michael Jackson, just because I thought this was fascinating. Why not? I like to talk about myself and my, my stories. Um, the same guy had a voicemail from Michael Jackson that he's like, you got to listen to this voicemail. So he gives me the phone, listen to the voicemail, and he, the voicemail is this. Hey, uh, guy's name. Um, I have a great idea for a TV show. I think we should have cameras in my house and we could show people how I live. And I talked to Diana and Diana would, Diana Ross, Diana would totally be into it. Cameras in Diana's house. People could just see how celebrities live. Now, this is before the Osbournes. It's before any of those like reality, reality shows TV. about like wow. the famous family. So Michael Jackson. And he was going to open his reality. home. I thought he was like a super private That's, guy. Yeah. And, and this was around the time that one of those trials was going on. So I got to okay. think in the back of his mind. He's like, I want to show people like how I live and what I did. Yeah, sure. So, 
So I thought it was great listening to his voice. Like, I, I just it's a shame that he turned out to be the way he was because he was very talented. His yeah. family was very talented. Yeah. His yeah, sister yeah. is still very you know who you talented. Can blame? His parents. <laughs> I know what that's like. Wait a second. <laughs> Good segue, guys. <laughs> uh, it's sad the way he died, too, like that. Yeah. Like that doctor no, just dude. completely not sad. Have you ever taken uh, the, the good stuff? Oh, oh, no. No, I'm not no, saying, saying I'm not I'm not saying it's an amazing way to shuffle off the mortal dude, coil. You yeah. went to sleep. But I'm saying sad the circumstances his yeah. doctor yeah. over prescribing him Absolutely. and not taking care of him the way he should have been taking care of him. Wasn't that that's kind of been hashed out, right? I in guess court? I like think the so. Yeah. Again, oh, you're oh. all looking at me. Like <laughs> 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 the only good thing that came out of it is that it brought more light to it, so people yes. understood yes. and understood yes. that there was there is a problem um, with drugs that. Are prescribed. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I like yeah. your mom, by the way. I like that. Just you can me, have I was her. I was on the fence, but you said yeah. that just makes me mad. That I like you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you. No. Like piece of shit. shit. <laughs> 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 well, thank you for coming on the show. Is there anything else we need to talk about before we we uh no, we kick you off? I think we, we just covered kick all the it guests up, right baby. Out the door. <laughs> <laughs> we had our show. You. No, I think we covered it all. Okay. Are you sure? Thank you. Let's just sit in silence for like a couple minutes. No, that's yeah. probably not. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it. Well, that's the end of the season. The end of the last guest of the we season. We have one more oh segment. My. We have another segment, but I'm just saying, let's just kind of take that, that. That was our moment. That, like this is the end of the season. It was great, and I really think you being the season finale guest is couldn't have been a better guest. I really I mean, appreciate it. It's, it's been my pleasure. It's thank you. And thank, thank you, you for being such a big supporter and fan of the show. Um, and, I love it. I, I, you know, I'm excited every time I know that there's a show. Yeah, he's my kid, and I know I'm not supposed to be prejudiced, but it's funny. You're your show is good. Listen, Everybody that you have on yeah. is fantastic. If you can hear them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I, I just, um, yeah, I, I really, really enjoy the show. I watch it while I'm eating my dinner. I watch it when I'm at work and it's a lull time. I just, I just like it. That's why so nobody's hired. <laughs> <laughs> when nobody wants to the room and I say we're back, you run back into the room, right? Yeah, like, oh, I don't want to miss it. Yeah, well, it's on the kitchen table because I have it on my phone. And if I'm doing something, I sit where I sit down. But, you know, talk about watching it at work. I turned on one of the, one of the guys that Whoa. I work with. Oh, hey. What? I turned on one of the guys that I work with to the oh. to the, to the show. Oh, okay. yes. oh my god! So he is a big supporter, and he really likes your show. Oh, so. fantastic! Yeah. Yeah. We need all the subscribers. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we turn, on guys. <laughs> turn on more guys. Turn on more guys. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> right. We're going to go to commercial <laughs> about turning something on, and we'll be right back. You know, mother. Soft White Plus is the first addition to the GE Soft White family in years. It makes me feel mighty proud. Well, we should be proud, Dad. Our 100-watt Soft White Plus will last twice as long as our regular 100-watt bulb. Twice as long, huh? That means he doesn't have to be changed as often. <laughs> Father, we're on TV. GE Soft White Plus with exclusive power coil filament. Lasts twice as long as our regular 100-watt bulb. <laughs> so, into season two, into season one... We're gonna have new things for season two. Yes, hopefully. Definitely gonna have a new mug. I've got that somewhere. We're gonna get a new rug. New carpet. Right? New rug, mug. Wow. New rug, mug. Are you, are you rhyming? Go. Yeah, yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, that was done. A new suit. I'm gonna wear a new suit and tie. Okay. I think. Can you afford that? Yeah. Oh, I have. I have a second one. I, I just promise to have less wrinkled stuff. <laughs> like I'm wearing a clean shirt. Okay. It's hard to have five. Sometimes we do five shows in a, in a time, and I have to have five different outfits. Ready to go. So Not I me. promise to be. More ready and uh, I got one and outfit, all clean season. and ironed outfits. Okay. Yeah. I'll just have one new out. suit and tie for the whole season two. I'm, I'm okay. still going to stick with that. Okay, you have to keep changing outfits. Um, so Maybe a sound guy. Oh yeah, so we don't. Miss we need, yeah, we need a sound guy and a camera person. Video, editing, editing, not doing a great job. What the we, heck, guys? <laughs> she does <laughs> enough. She's going to iron my clothes next season. So, um, but <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna. I think we should auction off some of the stuff. Not this mug. We've no, talked about that a little yeah. bit. But the rug, we already talked about this. And together. literally make an offer. Yeah, yeah. Just email us at the somebody show. You like got anything the besides the backdrop. Because yeah, I think that was probably... Although, do we still... We, we, we tossed the old one. Yeah. No pieces of that yeah, left. There's though. nothing left. We had the old cardboard one. Yeah, that we were going to maybe auction off pieces of it. Sean didn't care enough to save any of it. Thanks, oh, is it Faith's fault or is it Sean's fault? No, no it's really Sean's fault. Yeah, she doesn't come anywhere. All right, all right. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Is there anything else? No, I think people are just happy that it's over. <laughs> Aww. 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 <laughs> um, did uh, did you check some emails that I sent? I thought that you read an email, maybe. You know, I, I wasn't going to bring this up because I'm a little bit. I thought we were going to do this kind of off camera. 
Uh, but uh, should we do it off camera? I mean, I'm just saying it's. You know, I listen. I I know you don't like me that much. I and I don't know if it comes on camera this much. It's not. I, but I got I got this for you. When you email guys, yeah, make sure they're still alive. When you email Ed, Ed McMahon to come on and be your sidekick, <laughs> you know he died. Oh, I oh knew, yeah, I oh yeah. He was dead. <laughs> and I, you know, I, Long time ago. I don't, I don't Are you not? Uh, Wait, you're not gonna you're not gonna be the psychic. You're not gonna be the hook coach anymore. You just hey, like, don't find Andy Richter. Season two, not you're even. He's you're not gonna real. do season two. You prick. What are you doing? You're a real piece of shit. Wait, whoa. Wait, don't. Where's he going? Why is he? Wait, Sean. Sean, come back. I don't know if he's gonna come back for season two. Stay tuned. <laughs>